Hi folks, in this video we're diving into Unreal Engine 5.5 Sequencer to explore some of its coolest features, handy shortcuts, and powerful tools that make creating cinematic sequencers faster and more efficient than ever. So let's jump right in. Now as you can see we are working with an old carpenter scene and our sequencer includes various elements like cameras, a metahuman character, and skeletal meshes for the bird, cat, and more. The first option I always check is keep playhead in playback range while scrubbing and it's right here. This ensures that as I scrub through the timeline, the playhead stays confined to the playback range making it easier to focus on specific parts of the sequence I'm working on without accidentally jumping out of the bones. The next feature I always use is snap keys while scrubbing. And it's right here. To demonstrate this, I will add a keyframe to the camera movement in the sequencer. So what I'm going to do is to select, for example, this camera and let's add a keyframe between the sequencer. For example, this is good and rotate the camera. And as you can see, when the camera is selected, the playhead automatically snaps to the keyframe, making it much easier to precisely edit and navigate through keyframes. Now let's move on to the new isolate option, which was recently added in Unreal Engine 5.5. You can quickly isolate a track by selecting it and pressing the shortcut Alt Q. This hides all other tracks, allowing you to focus solely on the one you're working on. Similarly, the hide option lets you temporarily hide a track without deleting it. And finally, to reset everything and bring back all tracks, you can simply use the shortcut Alt E. Now, let's explore the filters feature in the sequencer, which can be incredibly helpful for managing complex scenes with multiple elements. I'll go to the filter section and activate the filter for skeletal meshes. This allows us to focus exclusively on the skeletal meshes in the sequencer like the bird or cat in our scene and hides all the other elements. It's a great way to keep your workflow organized, especially when dealing with a crowded timeline. And next I'll activate the filter bar visibility option and this adds a filter bar to the sequencer, giving you a quick and easy way to search for specific tracks or objects by name or type. This is perfect for locating specific elements in larger, more complex sequences without having to scroll through everything manually. Now let's take a look at a really handy feature, toggle viewport selectability for sequencer only objects. This feature allows us to control whether objects that are being driven by the sequencer can be selected directly in the viewport or not. And by toggling this option, we can prevent accidental selection or editing of sequencer only objects while working in the viewport, keeping our workflow clean and focused. In Unreal Engine 5.5 Sequencer, the Properties panel provides a convenient way to quickly access and adjust the parameters of a selected track, located on the right side of the timeline and dockable for ease of use. It allows for direct editing of track specific settings without having to navigate through multiple menus. For instance, I select the cat's walking animation from the sequencer and using the properties panel, I'll easily adjust the play rate to slow down the animation. This feature is incredibly useful for fine tuning animations and other track settings right within the sequencer, making the workflow faster and more efficient. And that's it for today's video, we've covered some great tips and features in Unreal Engine Sequencer to help streamline your workflow. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Unreal Engine content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.